Massachusetts man sentenced to 25 years for buying explosives and firearms with intent to murder federal judge, former AG, and ex-wife's husband Concord, United States Attorney Scott W. Murray announced today that Edward McLarnon, 69, of Malden, Massachusetts, was sentenced to serve 25 years in federal prison for receiving firearms with intent to commit murder and other related charges. After a six-day trial, McLarnon was convicted on January 30, 2018, of 1. Receiving an unregistered silencer, 2. Receiving firearms with the intent to commit murder, 3. Receiving explosive materials, and 4. Receiving an explosive with the intent to harm persons or property. Evidence presented at trial showed that in October 2015, defendant McLarnon made contact with a person he believed to be an arms dealer, who was actually an undercover FBI agent, for the purpose of buying illegal weapons. After negotiating with the agent at a store in Chichester and paying a total of $700 cash, on November 6, 2015, the defendant took possession of a .22 caliber pistol with silencer, an AK-47 style semi-automatic rifle, and explosives, along with ammunition for the firearms. He then was arrested at a rest stop in Seabrook, NH. The evidence further showed that, McLarnon intended to use the weapons to kill his ex-wife's husband, as well as a Boston federal judge and a former Massachusetts attorney general. In imposing the 25-year sentence, U.S. District Court Judge Stephen J. McAuliffe said, but for some exceptional law enforcement work, you may have caused serious harm to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, the federal judiciary and Mr. Douglas. This lengthy sentence is an appropriate punishment for this defendant, whose conduct was truly frightening and dangerous, said U.S. Attorney Murray, because the defendant was frustrated with the legal system, he planned to engage in disturbing acts of violence, we should all be grateful that our law enforcement partners were able to prevent this defendant from putting his violent plan into action. The substantial prison sentence imposed by the court should act as a deterrent to others who might plan to commit violent crimes. Mr. McLarnon went to great lengths and concocted a frightening plan to kill his ex-wife's husband, a sitting federal judge, and a former Massachusetts attorney general, as a way to express his displeasure with a judicial system, through the exceptional work and diligence of our joint terrorism task forces in New Hampshire and Massachusetts, we were able to uncover and disrupt his nefarious plot, said Harold H. Shaw, special agent in charge, FBI Boston Division, today's sentence ensures that he will no longer be in a position to endanger innocent lives for a very long time. This matter was investigated by the FBI, U.S. Secret Service, Homeland Security Investigations, Boston, and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives. The case was prosecuted by Assistant U.S. Attorney John S. Davis and Special Assistant U.S. Attorney Matthew T. Hunter. Source, the United States Department of Justice, DOJ, God bless. Dean James III percent right-wing tribune be sure to follow us on Nation in Distress and America's Freedom Fighters on Facebook.